as you all know, Disney is not just king, but emperor and something beyond when it comes to theatrical. In 2019, Disney's market share is 35%, and that's not counting Fox. Disney has released, I believe, seven pictures this year. Five of them are over a billion dollars of worldwide box. And only Universal of all the other studios has five pictures in its lifetime that have done more than a billion dollars. I think Sony has one, and that just came out. So what happens <laughs> there? Well, let's look at Warner's first. Warner's has announced that it's going to go out with HBO Max. Because of the affiliation agreements that HBO has with the MVPDs, multiple, uh, well, you know what those are, the satellites, uh, cable, and, uh, and uh, telco operators, the, they cannot price this at a low basis. So since basically they get anywhere from nine to fourteen dollars a sub at wholesale, depending on their deals. HBO. They're going to have to re to release HBO Max at roughly a sixteen or seventeen dollar price, which is higher than the price, for example, on the uplift that you get from Netflix, which is $13.99, I think. Disney's coming out at $6.99, but we'll all be buying the $70 because what, why would we be, we, we aren't gonna get rid of it in Christmas time or anything like that. So uh, there'll be a bunch of library features that Warners will throw into HBO Max. The new ones aren't going to go because, weirdly enough, there's an existing deal between Warner Brothers and HBO, yes, <laughs> that runs till 2021, 22, I think. So they'll continue to deliver to HBO for their pay deal. And for their free deal, they'll be dealing with the rest of the world and may or may not throw it into that platform. By contrast, we have Comcast NBCU, which for at least what we're hearing is they're going to have what amounts to an AVOD service. It may be for, it may be subscription for those subscribers who do not get NBC from their television sets. There's 20% of the country that doesn't because they're basically cord cutters. And again, how are they going to handle their features? Are, and 
in that regard, Universal is stuck with a deal, again, with HBO for the next three years, so they're not going anywhere. But in three years' time, all of this can start falling to pieces. And now what happens to the other two majors? Paramount, Slant Viacom, and Sony. If they're merging, then Paramount will now again be a sister to Showtime, which is controlled or owned by CBS. So once that happens, Paramount will be stuck with its deal with Epix for the next two years, and then will presumably move over to Showtime. Sony has a deal with Stars that doesn't expire for three years. At the end of that deal, are they going to go to PlayStation? Are they going to go where? Don't know. And what about people like Lionsgate, who has stars, STX, which has an output agreement, E1, which has a lesser output agreement, Global Road, which is now Kaput, or Spyglass, which is the old uh, Gary Barber, Weinstein films, uh, and then there's Miramax that's up for grabs. Where does all those, where do all those go? Are they on the pay side, on a B2B basis, or are they on a B2C basis? And if so, just how does all that work? And then another problem, if you will, for all of them, or an opportunity for all of them, is does PVOD, premium VOD, suddenly reappear as an option for studios who want to intrude on, the, uh, uh, on, on their uh, platforms. Lest we get too concerned about the studios, I want to remind you of three gifts from the government in one, well, one way or another. The major studio taxes paid at the parent company level are now 21%, not 35%. Second, by virtue of the tax bill last year, year ago, production expenditures, if the movie is produced 75% of it in the United States, you can write off your negative cost on release, which is a vast improvement over the income forecast that others had to follow. And finally, I think I may have said something to you 10, 12 years ago about the VPF, do any of you remember that? Virtual print fee. <clears throat> Studios signed up to deliver all of their films in digital to the, to the circuits, theater circuits. The financing was that the studios had to pay into the pot for construction of the digital cinema, $750 or more per, quote, print, which isn't a print anymore. They will now have paid off that commitment. So any of you who are negotiating with any studio next year should be looking for a six to eight million dollar reduction 
compared to where you were last year when they were paying the 750.